Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today because I have an update for you in regards to these claims that Russia supposedly has a nuclear weapon that can be launched into outer space and supposedly used to take out uh, U.S. satellites. Okay, and if you have no idea what's going on here, I put out a video uh, just less than a week ago, maybe three, four days ago. And it was about a uh, U.S. congressman named Mike Turner, okay? And he came out and he was warning the uh, Biden administration that there was some intelligence that needed, that was urgently needed to be declassified by, the pre by uh, President Joe Biden. And uh, there was some information that supposedly Russia had a nuclear weapon that could be deployed in outer space or they were planning to deploy it and it could be used to knock out U.S. satellites. Now that's obviously a big deal because if, if satellites got knocked out, you know, communications would be completely down and it could completely blind the United States should Russia want to, you know, maybe go to war with NATO or something like that. It would basically knock uh, America in a way out of the fight because majority of of the military communications would be gone and they would not be, they'd be blind. They wouldn't be able to use GPS or anything like that. And it would be very difficult to fight a war without communications. So I have an update here that supposedly Putin came out in an interview and uh, there's video footage of it online. You can find uh, that's in Russian, obviously, but he came out and said that Russia is categorically against nuclear weapons in space and he's uh, denying the plans to deploy any of these nukes um, into space okay so now obviously that that has two sides you know to every story kind of situation there right because Russia said uh, Vladimir Putin said that he wasn't going to go into Ukraine and then they did so it's hard to believe really any side here you know it's it's it, you you don't really know if they're actually producing these nukes that can go into space and then you don't know if they actually do have them and then they are going to deploy them, but they're stating that they're not to kind of, uh, you know, divert tension away from it. But really, they are planning on it. Who knows? Right. But I've got information here. Let's get into this. This is out of the BBC. Putin denies plans to deploy nuclear weapons in space. It says here, Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin has said that Moscow is categorically against the deployment of nuclear weapons in space. His remarks came during a televised meeting with his defense minister, who also denied Russia had any plans. Last week, U.S. officials said Russia was developing a troubling new anti-satellite weapon, which it was yet to deploy. U.S. media reports said it was, was space-based and armed with a nuclear warhead. White House spokesman John Kirby said the U.S. administration was taking the development very seriously, and that President Joe Biden had already ordered direct diplomatic engagement with Russia over the threat. So apparently this was a pretty big deal. Okay, They were downplaying it. Uh, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson was coming out and trying to keep everybody calm and saying there's no imminent threat. There's no need to freak out over this. Uh, we're going to deal with the situation. But uh, like this Congressman Mike Turner was coming out and saying, no, this is very serious. We need to take care of this now. This is our national security that's at stake here. And uh, the country could be at real risk here should uh, Russia knock out these satellites. So it says here, Mr. Putin called for international agreements on space weaponry to be adhered to and said Russia had offered many times to, to work jointly to strengthen them. Our position is clear and transparent. We have always been categorically against the deployment of nuclear weapons in space, and we are still against it, he said. Defense Minister Sh uh, Sergei Shoigu said, Firstly, we don't have this nuclear weapon in space. Secondly, they know we don't have it, but they're still making a fuss. He reported, or excuse me, he repeated claims by Russian officials that the U.S. procurement, or excuse me, pronouncements <laughs> were a ruse to scare U.S. lawmakers into passing additional Ukrainian aid. That's possible. Very possible that that was the case there. A group of Republicans in the House of Re uh, Representatives have been holding up an aid package, including a vital $60 billion for Ukraine for several months. Mr. Kirby has strongly rejected Moscow's claims, 
Speaking a day after House Intelligence Committee Mike, uh, Chairman Mike Turner, a senior Republican, issued vague warnings of a serious uh, national security threat, he told reporters that there was no immediate threat to the U.S. public. So apparently it was very serious, according to him. And again, it was being downplayed. Uh, but, you know, at least we know for sure Biden was trying to take uh, the initiative here and uh, start trying to negotiate with Russia and find out what's going on. But according to Russia, they don't have this weapon. So where's this information coming from? We're not talking about a weapon that can be used to attack human beings or cause physical destruction here on Earth, he said. While space weapons sound uh, ripped from the pages of science fiction novels, military experts have warned that space is likely to be the next frontier of warfare in an increasing technology-dependent world. They say Russia and China have been steadily developing military capabilities in, in space as they seek to catch up to the U.S. The three countries already have the capability to attack satellites around the world, but in theory, they cannot use nuclear weapons there. All three are uh, signatories of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which forbids countries from sending into orbit any objects carrying nuclear weapons or any other kinds of weapons of mass destruction. But experts say the treaty provides no guarantee of safety in the current geopolitical climate because of Russia's tendency to disregard its treaty obligations. Kind of reminds me of, of uh, when Russia, uh, Putin said he wasn't going to invade Ukraine, but then they did. Okay, they they obviously have a track record here, at least in the in the recent times, over the last few years of saying they won't do something and then they actually do it. So I I think that's kind of the argument here is that uh, Russia could still do something like this, even though they claim that, oh, we don't have this nuclear weapon and we don't have any plans to deploy it. This doesn't exist. The West knows we don't have it, just like Sergei Shoigu, the defense minister, is saying. But it's very possible they could have it. Who knows? And I'm not saying they do. Um, obviously, that, that information would have to come to light here, right? But, uh, yeah, it's it's obviously very uh, very scary here, right? I mean, if... if uh, these satellites were to be taken out, it, it would cause major, major issues throughout the world, okay? And uh, communications would be completely down. Nobody would be able to call each other. Uh, the military wouldn't be able to operate. Uh, they, they'd be completely handicapped. And uh, if any foreign uh, adversary wanted to uh, commit some sort of heinous act on the United States or whatever country it's trying to go after, that would be the, the way to do it. It's kind of like launching an EMP. And an EMP is an electromagnetic pulse uh, that usually is detonated way, way high in the atmosphere over a country and could knock out all the electronics uh, throughout that entire country and disrupt electronics. So uh, obviously these, uh, these new weapons out here are starting to become more um, clever. And uh, you know, countries are, are finding ways to, to directly attack another nation without having to physically attack the population. And that's what many countries like Russia, if that's what their plan is here, that's that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find easier ways to take down topple nations like the United States versus just going boots on the ground. Because obviously, no, there's no army that's you know large enough to invade a country like the United States, especially when two thirds of the population is armed. It, it just it'd be very difficult for a uh, a military to engage on a population of that size like 300 million people and also if they if many of them are armed okay so uh hope you got something out of this though i think it's very interesting i just wanted to give you an update on this whole uh nuclear weapon in space thing because it's obviously a, a grave concern for a lot of people so if you got something out of this please hit the like button and also if you enjoy my content please consider subscribing to the channel hit the notification bell that way YouTube can notify you. We do put out several updates like this every single day. So I hope you uh, enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. I'll see you in the next video.